It's so good to be here tonight again. And to share the mind of God with us. I'm really, really excited tonight. Well, tonight I want to share briefly on what I have titled to be Take Off the Negative Label. Take off the negative label. And I want to encourage us tonight that we should try as much as possible not to reach out for information only but to reach out for impartation for a touch of God. Because each time God brings a word is not just to inform us but is to transform us. Is to change us. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage us tonight to open up our heart in whatever area we are trusting God to be touch of God. As Peter was preaching in his church one day, the Bible says the power of God fell on everyone that was there. So it's possible to be touched by the, by the power of God even in a meeting like this. But it determines your positioning. Hallelujah. Open with me to 1 Corinthians. Chronicles 4. First Chronicles 4. And we'll be reading from verse 9 to 10. Thank you, Jesus. See, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your head be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted is request. Jabes fick mer ära än sina bröder och hans mor kallade han Jabes och sa: "För dig jag har fött han i smärta." Jabes påkallade Israels gud och sa: "Å du, om du bara vill välsigna mig och utvidga gränserna mina, må din hand vara med mig och må du hålla mig borta från ont så jag inte blir orsak till smärta." Så gav Gud han till han barn. Halleluja. There is nothing that defines destiny as mentality. The Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so easy. It is failure mentality that makes people fail. It is success mentality that makes a star. It is poverty mentality that makes people poor. Am I right? Yes. It is sickness mentality that makes people really sick. So our imagination is what sets the pace for our destination. So our fantasy is what gives us the pace for our destination. When Jesus called on Peter to come to the other side, Peter began to walk on water. But his imagination failed him. He began to think. His thoughts. Situation. Oh, is it possible? So the moment he began to think, 
Så det ögonblick han började att tänka. He began to sink. Så började han att sink. And that is it with life with us. Och det är slik det är med med ura stämpel som vi satt på oss. No matter where we get the prophetic word from or the promises of God. Profetisk ord från från eller Guds löfte. The moment we began to doubt. Det är ögonblick vi börjar att tvivla. The promises of God. Guds löfte. You can't get the final result. You can't get victory. Så får du inte det sista resultatet. Du får inte säga. Because prophecy on its own cannot work. För profeti på egen hand kan inte fungera. We make the prophecies work. Vi gör att profetierna blir rätta. We have to make it work. Hallelujah. Our imagination is what sets the pace for our destination. Det var faktiskt att se som vi sätter fart på fart på det vi kommer till. Det är det som är så. The Bible says, "Believe the Lord." Vi vill säga, "Tro Herren." And you will be established. Och du ska bli stadfäst. Believe his prophet. Tro hans profet. And you will prosper. Och du ska framgå. Believe the Lord. Tro på Herren. And you will be established. Du ska bli etablerad. Believe his prophet. Tro på hans profet. And you will prosper. Och du ska framgå. Say, blessed is she that believe it, for there will be a performance. Blessed are you so true, for the contrary will be utfurt. Of what the mouth of the Lord has said. Of what Hannah's mouth has said. So we 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 can we can enjoy the performance of God. We can see the hand of God if we don't believe. So we can't even see God's hand if we don't believe. So believing precedes manifestation. The to true, therefore, from manifestation. Until we believe. Helt vill tro. They will see the demonstration of God. Då kan vi se det Gud gör. Halleluja. It is your mental picture. Det är ditt mentala bild. That defines your actual picture. Som definierar det faktiska bild. It is your mental picture. Det är ditt mentala bild. That defines your actual picture. Som definierar det verkliga bild. Your mental picture. The mental picture. That defines your actual picture. So define the real picture. It is possibility mentality that makes you. Realness mentality. That makes you a giant. So you are a giant. The Bible says all things are possible. The Bible says that all things are possible. To them that believe. For them that trust. All things. All things. Not some things. All things. All things. Are possible to them that believe. For them that trust. So we 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 got to change how to believe God. We must change the way we believe God. We need to believe God. We must trust God. We need to believe His word. We must stand on His word. So. We can see his manifestation. So, and we can see his manifestation. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and Jabez cried out. We will say that Jabez roped out. Jabez cried out. Jabez roped out. He cried out for a change. He roped out for a change. He cried out. He roped out. He didn't whisper. He whispered. He cried out for a change. He roped out for a change. He cried out for a change in the situation. Han ropte ut för en förändring i situationen. He cried out for a turn around in his family issues. Han ropte ut för en förändring i sin familjesituation. He cried out for a change because of his children. Han ropte ut för att se barn åt. He cried out for a change for his future. Han ropte ut för en förändring för sin framtid. Is in the Bible he cried out. Är det Bibeln? Han ropte ut. He cried out. Han ropte ut. The Lord opened my eyes to something very important this morning. I was shocked. Har en uppgång med mina ögon för något väldigt överraskande. That even even God cried out at a particular time. God cried out. Sel Gud ropt ut på ett tidspunkt. He cried out. Han ropt ut. Because of you and I. He cried out for our victory. He cried out for our turnaround. He cried out for our turnaround. I will show you the scripture tonight. 
Hallelujah. Let's go to Isaiah 42. Let's open to Isaiah 42. 42. Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42. From verse 14. From verse 14. Thank you, Jesus. He says, For a long time I have kept silent. I have been quiet and held back myself. But now, like a woman in childbirth, I cry out, I gasp and pant. I will lay waste the mountains and hills and dry up all, the, all their vegetation. I will turn rivers into islands and dry up the pools. I will lead the blind by the ways they have not known. Along unfamiliar paths, I will guide you. I will turn the darkness into light before you and make the rough places smooth. These are the things I will do. I will not forsake you. Jag hållt mig i ro från evigheten. Jag tittade och hållt mig tillbaka. Men nu vill jag skrika som en födande kvinna. Jag vill stöna och gispa på samma tid. Jag vill lägga fjällna och hävna öde. Och svia all växna där. Jag vill göra ändarna till kystvann. Och tölka upp in sjön. Jag vill föra de blinde på en väg de inte känner. Jag vill leda dem på utkänt stier. Jag vill göra mörket till lys föran deras ansikt. Och jag gör ulönte städer jämna. Allt detta ska jag göra för dem. Och inte förlata dem. Is it for a long time I have kept quiet. För att er veta. And I've held my peace. But now. Men nu. The season is now. So I tell you, in a, your season is now. Din tid är nu. For God to say He is crying out just because of you. För att Gud säger att han är upprörd på grund av dig. There will be a definite turnaround. Så det måste vara en in the name of Jesus. As today mark the end of our 21 days prayer of fasting. I dag så markerar markerar vi den sista dagen i vår bön av fasting. I hear the Lord say to me this morning that these promises is for us. So hört jag här en tid den här morgon att dessa löften är för oss. These promises it is for us. Dessa löften är för oss. Even as an individual here. Ställt som en individuell här. And as a church. Och som en medlem. He says he's going to turn every darkness into light. Han säger att han ska snu varje mörka plats in till ljus. And make every rough place smooth. Och vad gör det varje ujämnt sted? Glatt. You cannot cry out for 21 days and God will not cry out on your behalf. Det går inte att vi ropar ut i 21 dagar och Gud inte ropar ut för vår skull. You cannot cry out in your secret place and God will not cry out on your behalf. Det går inte att du ropar ut på ditt din lämpligt kammer och Gud inte ropar ut för på din lämpligt. We do not have a wicked God. Vi har ingen slem Gud. We have a great God. We have a fantastic God. I don't know if I, I know there 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 are mothers here. I don't know if there are mothers here. I don't know if it's a good experience to be to to have labor every week. I don't know if it's a good experience to be to to have labor every week. I don't know if it's a good experience to be to 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 have labor every week. I don't know if it's a good experience to be to 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 have labor every week. I don't know if it's a good experience to be to 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 have labor every week. I don't know if it's a good experience to be to 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 because I was there, it, it's something different. Oh my God! <laughs> wow! <laughs> when I remember that, I'm like, okay, I think one child is just, is just perfect. This is the last. I don't want to experience this screaming anymore. I was scared. I was scared. She held my, she held my hand. I held her hand. Very tight like this. I was like, "What? God help me here." <laughs> wow. Let's put our hands together for our mothers. <laughs> and God is saying the same to us tonight. Do you see the same to us again? See, I'll cry out like a woman in trouble. I'll cry out like a woman in trouble. 
I cry out just like a woman in labor. You can imagine how the crying of God would be like. <laughs> he cried out so he can have the blessings. <laughs> he cried out that you have tarried too long on this mountain. You have been too much on this on this situation. The change is now. The turnaround is now. God is turning around every of our story into glory. He's turning around every of our story into glory. In the name of Jesus. Every shame into fame. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Jabez cried out. And Jabez cried out. There's something very special about the prayer of Jabez. The Bible says, and God granted his request. There must be something special about it. I want to enumerate four very important things mentioned in that prayer. Number one. Number one. He says, Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me indeed. Lord, bless me indeed. That was the first thing he said. To some people, they will think it's a selfish prayer. Why would he ask God to just bless him? To some, it's selfish. Why is he pray that God should bless some other people? But this man is coming from a different situation. He has been held bound long time from birth. His mother called him sorrow. They name him sorrow. They name him grief. His mother named him discomfort. Because she had him out of pain. But this man said, Lord, bless me. The blessing means there greater success. Större success. I don't want to remain in this situation. I don't want to be in this same position I am. Lord bless me. Turn around this situation. I want to move forward. My background is terrible. I don't want to remain back. Your background does not mean your back should always be on the ground. So he began to fight and to pray and say, Lord, bless me. It doesn't matter the name I've been labeled. But Lord, bless me. It doesn't matter what they called me. But Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me. Nobody determined our destiny. Only God does. So no matter what name any of us has been labeled with, I want us to, to, to be determined tonight to say, Lord, I want to receive your blessing. To take away every of this, every of this label. Throughout life, people are constantly labeling us. So, And calling us different names. Some are labeled failure. Some are labeled unattractive. Some are labeled too tall, too short. Not good enough. So many labels in life. So many markers. Some are labeled barren. So food markers for some time are unfruitful. Different labels by people. For shelly markers, for shelly stamps. From friends. 
From family. Even from your father or your mother. The label. Even from your teacher. Some teacher will say, don't just do mathematics. You can't pass it. Don't, don't just don't try to speak English. You will fail. You are not good. So many terrible labels. And for so many, they don't know better. So they accept this label. So they accept this label. They live with this label. They live with this label. And so they are limited in life. So they are limited in life. They can't see the future. They can't see the future. The dream they used to have. The dream they used to have. It's short sighted. Then they live a short life. They can't move on with it. They can't get for a move a step forward. Because of the label. For the reason of the market label. I was reading about Michael Jordan. I read about Michael Jordan. He was like the best footballer. He was the best footballer in record. So much. He was cut off from his high school basketball team. He was cut off. He was being outcast from basketball team at school because he was labeled not good enough. For he had to make up for himself that he didn't have good enough. But he determined in his heart. He had a certain sense of duty to get rid of every label. And he says something very important. He says, "I have failed over and over and over again." He says, "I have failed again and again and again." And that is why I succeeded. And it was therefore I succeeded. I have failed over and over and over and over. I have failed again and again and again. And that is why I succeeded. And it was therefore I succeeded. He refused to give up. He refused to give up. It is failure mentality that makes people fail. 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 And all of this is a trick by the devil. All that is a trick by the devil. To keep us from reaching to our to our to to our highest potentials. For to try to force so it can move our highest potential. Now let's listen to this. Hey, but the devil does not fight you. The devil doesn't fight you. Fight you for where you are. For where you are. But he fights you for where you are going. He is not worried about it where you are now. He is not worried about it where you are now. He is not worried about it where you are now. He is not worried about it where you are now. Based on where you're going. And Jabez cried out. 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 And Jabez cried even though God, you have blessed me now. It's not good to have received me now. I just don't want to keep the blessing to myself. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. I want to be a blessing to other people. I want to expand my territory. The top, the top thing he prayed. The third thing he prayed. Let your hand be with me. Let your hand be with me. Which means greater power. So must you stir up the wind. Lord, give me your power. Give me your power. Nobody can survive without the power of God. Ingen kan överleva utan Guds kraft. We all need the power of God. Vi tränger alla Guds kraft. In our family. I vår familj. Even as a church. Så som en människa. We need the power of God. Så tränger vi Guds kraft. To function. For to function. In our business. In our job. We need the power of God. We need the power of God. So we can be different from other people. So we can be different from other people. Daniel enjoyed the power of God. Daniel loved God's power. And that is why he is different from other of his colleagues. And that is why he is different from other of his colleagues. And that is why he is different from other of his colleagues. The Bible says he has the spirit of excellence. The Bible says he has the spirit of excellence. The fourth thing he prayed. Say, keep me from harm. Hold my foot from from wounds. Which means greater protection. So it is greater protection. Greater protection. Greater protection. Lord, preserve me. Lord, protect me. Protect me. 
Even though where I am now, it's not good because of my past. But Lord, protect me. That your hands may be upon me. Lord, I want your protection upon my family. After going, after I went through the prayer of Jabez, I realized that God did answer him so förstod jag att Gud faktiskt svarade han. Because he was an honorable man. På grund av var han en ärfull man. Let's read that, that scripture again. Låt oss läsa det skriftet igen. Thank you, Father. Just the verse one. First Chronicles four. Första Kronikerna fyra. See, and Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. First Chronicles 4, 9. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. He was more honorable. I discovered that Jabez was an addicted follower of God. He was a honorable man. He was a steadfast man. He was devoted. He loved God. Even though those he had around him, his family members, they are not Christians. Because in this time and in this season, in, 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 in the Jew, in the, in the Jewish life, or, many of them have torn away from God. And now, serving idols. But Jab is determined in his heart. I mean, it's so amazing. Somebody that's, that, that's supposed to be depressed. Because of what he has been called. Because of the situation he's going through. But he didn't allow his situation to put him down. He was still committed to God. He was still following God. He was still devoted. That's torture. He didn't allow his situation to take him away from God. Even, even though his other family members are already worshipping idols, but he was determined to keep on pressing on, to keep on following God, to keep on trusting Him, to keep on worshipping Him. He devoted his life to Him. And no wonder the Lord he heard him. Not because he prayed his prayer. I, I want to believe. Because I've, I've read different, different, different issues now that people are now, oh, we should be praying Jabez's prayer. So we can get the blessings of Jabez. It doesn't work like that. He say, the Bible says he was first a honorable man. He was first a just man. He was first a righteous man. He was first a devoted Christian. In our time, we will say it's, 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 it's church addict. <laughs> but that is why when he prays, God accepted his prayer. And God released him from every curse. Because name has to do with identity. What you are called. That is who you are. That is how you act. So those days, they don't just give them names. They don't just give names. They look at you. They look at how you behave and the situation or the circumstances. 
Så i de dagene så gir de deg ikke bare et navn. De observerer deg og ser hvordan du oppfører deg, og så gir de deg et navn. Før de gir et navn. Veldig sterkt. Og de ikke har lagt deg til å destroy hans fremtid. Han tillot ikke det å ødelegge sin fremtid. Han holdt fast i Gud. Han holdt fast i Gud. Han holdt fast i Gud. Til du blesser meg. Helt til han vil si meg. Jeg vil ikke skippe deg. Til du rører meg. Jeg vil ikke tillate meg. Jeg vil fortsette å tjene deg. Jeg vil fortsette å følge deg. Jeg vil fortsette å elske deg. Jeg vil fortsette å elske deg. Even when I'm not seeing the result yet, but still I will love you. Even when I'm still sick, I will still love you. Even when my friends neglected me, I will still love you. Even when my business is crumbling, I will still love you. I will still follow you. That is the spirit. That is the spirit. God is looking for people who are desperate for him. God is in need of you. God is in need of me. No matter what you have, God is able to turn the little you have into much. Just give him what you have. He is an expert in turning little things into much. It could be your time. It could be just a part of your heart. You can start with that. He has the capacity of turning little into much. All he asks of us. Just give me the time. Give me the time. Give me the time. I just need the time. This is all I desire for you. Give me the time. Hallelujah. Tonight I want us to pray. We will pray and cry out unto the Lord. But before we do that, the Bible says the prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto him. Så sier vi jo at en syndersbønn er en beskyggelighet for Gud. Og så har jeg gitt noen av oss en mulighet i kveld. Så jeg vil gi noen av oss en mulighet i kveld. Og kanskje du er her, og de tingene vi sier, og du ikke forstår det. Det er kanskje en forvirring, det er kanskje en forvirring. Jeg vil at du skal be i kveld. Og så vil jeg at du skal be i kveld. Og så vil jeg at du skal be i kveld. And say, Lord, I just want to give you my heart. I just want to give you my, my all. I just want to give myself. I just want to rededicate myself to you. Help me, Lord. If you are in this category, tonight, just close your eyes and take a spirit. Say, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Make me a new person. I want to rededicate myself to you. Come and take hold of my life. I don't want to remain where I am now. I want to love you. I want to serve you. I want to give you my all. Help me, Lord. By myself, I can't do anything. But I rely on you tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to stand up on our feet tonight and just take this prayer. The Bible says, Jabez cried out. Jabez cried out. Jabez cried out. The Lord bless me. Lord, enlarge my territory. Lord, let your hands be upon me. Lord, 
take every harm away from me. Ta allt ont bort från mig. I want us to cry out and, and pray to God tonight. The Bible says Jabez cried out unto the Lord. I said, Lord, bless me. Let your hands be upon me. Let your hands be upon my family. Let your hands be upon my children. Lord, bless me. Lord, enlarge my territory. Lord, take away hands. Lord, bless me. In the name of Jesus, why don't you cry out to the Lord tonight? The Bible says, Jabez cried out that you will bless me, Lord. That you will deliver me. That you will turn around my situation. That your hands may be upon me. That no harm may be upon me. That it will change, I will change my, my circumstances, oh God. Lord, we cry out to you tonight. Lord, for everyone here tonight, Lord Jesus. I just maloka patola de sakalageda. Inga chuka legege parado la katiza. Maruko toko pogo rike radi keke magaru parogo inga da magagogo bolige radreka suto pozota lagi. Lord, I decree your hands upon every one of us here tonight. Lord, I pray that you begin to enlarge territory. Lord, even as a church, that you will begin to enlarge us. <laughs> Lord, we decree, even as a church, we begin to see enlargement. That you will enlarge our territory. That you will not just remain here, that you will expand us, oh God. That your hands can be upon us, oh God. That you will bless us in the name of Jesus. Even as a family, Lord, I pray for every family represented here tonight. That your hands will be upon them, oh God. That you will bless them. That no harm will be upon them. Lord, I pray for anyone struggling here, Lord, that your hands will be upon them. In the name of Jesus, that your power will be released. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we decree tonight that you will release your mighty hands upon your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I hear the Lord say to, to, to someone here tonight. Uh, it's been difficult for you to forgive. You have tried to forgive. But it's been very difficult. The truth of the matter is, all of this prayer we're praying. If you don't forgive, you may not partake of it. But receive grace now to forgive totally. It's about your family member who has wronged you. And it's been difficult to forgive. The Lord wants you to forgive. Release it now. Let go now. So you can partake of the blessings of God. Release it now. Release it now. Release it now. In the mighty name of Jesus. And if you're here, if you want a prayer, you want you want you want us to pray with you. Please come out. If you want us to pray with you? You can come out. Thank you, Father.